So we just checked out of Sharky Hostel and now need to find some food and we'll go to Dumagetti. So we're just going to try out this place that's just across the road from the hostel. Food here is pretty decent. Flips also looks nice. I think I should have got his though. It's got nice noodles in it. It's so good. Well, this one has no noodles though. It's so bad. The food was actually quite good there. Price wasn't that great, but it's good enough for this kind of place. Yeah. Now we're gonna try and get a 15 uh, peso Mountain Dew. Yeah. Look, cheers. Yeah, yeah. Now we just have to wait for the bus to arrive. Apparently it runs every 40 minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Got our tickets for 62 pesos. So far we've spent that's 75 to get to the next island and I'm about to board this boat. Yeah. Now we just have to take one of those jeepneys to get to our hostel. No, actually, yeah, it's just $2 per person for a private jeepney. So, I mean, we probably ended up overpaying, but doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, $2 to go like five kilometers. Oh, this looks like a nice hostel. So, one of the reasons we went here, besides it having great reviews and aircon and stuff, was apparently it has good Wi Fi per Filipino standards. And it's actually, I mean, we can probably upload a video. It only takes like three hours here, apparently. So, we've just walked out of a hostel. And we're trying to go downtown. One of the guys at our hostel was saying that apparently trikes, like the uh, tricycles, downtown. To go downtown, it's only 10 pesos, basically, which is nothing. So we just like jumped in this one. It just came driving down the road. And we just jumped in and like we didn't even agree a price. We just went down here and like gave him 10, and he was like, "Yep." Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that far though, but still. Yeah, it's like two kilometers. But now we're in downtown, kind of. The bakeries here are exceptionally cheap. And 20 cents for it. Candy here is also really cheap actually. Something along the lines of one fourth the price in Denmark. It's not the greatest candy, but it's still okay for the price. I think. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it tastes like there's no sugar in it. Hmm. It does kind of say it's artificial. Each of these were about 20 pesos each. And I mean they're quite good actually. We're now going to check out the food court that's apparently up on the fifth floor. All right. Wow, there's a lot of food stores here. This place has really cheap food actually. You could really like see that the prices back in Oslo were just tourist prices. Unfortunately none of these places actually had anything vegetarian so I guess I'm surviving on french fries today. It seems like bakeries are really, really popular in the Philippines. And it's so cheap. Like, most things are between 3 to 10 pesos. This is a really big gaming cafe. Time to play a game of league here in the Philippines. You looking forward to it? I'm going to play against the bots. Yep. We have to play against bots because we don't have an account on this server. So did you like your first Filipino gaming cafe experience? Fine, computer was fine, you couldn't log into your own account and they had no account so you had to start over. But like they had okay in there which was nice. Now we just have to try and find a tricycle home. So this bakery right here is like 600 meters away and they have stuff for two pesos. Two. Two, that's like that's so... so little. That's like only, only four cents. Wow, how four, is that? Four cents. How is that possible? Please. This is the Philippines, it's just magic.